Finn is part of the management team in an MNC, and he has come up with some profitable investment policies for his company and his employees. Before its implementation, he needs to pitch his idea in front of the board of directors. But the board of directors didn't approve of his idea, and that too without any explanation for their decision. Disappointed by this, he started browsing the internet, looking for a solution that could benefit everyone and where every member gets to have their say. And that is when he came across the concept of DAO, which is a decentralized organization that is collectively owned by its members, and wherein decisions are voted upon by themselves, which runs on blockchain technology. But to understand its concept in depth, we went to his friend Sam, who is a blockchain expert. Finn explained to him his situation, how he came across the DAO, and why he wants to know more about it. On realizing his excitement and curiosity, Sam decided to take him through the DAO and how it functions. He explained that before understanding what DAO is, let's understand a bit about what blockchain is. Blockchain is a system of storing data that makes it difficult or impossible to change, hack, or manipulate the data. It's basically a digital log of transactions that are duplicated and spread across the blockchain's whole network of computers. And the DAO is something that makes use of its rules and policies for its proper functioning. He further added a DAO or Decentralized Autonomous Organization is a blockchain-based organization that is collectively owned and controlled by its members. They have built-in resources that no one can access without the group's permission. All proposals are implemented using voting processes to make decisions upon its rules and policies, ensuring that everyone in the organization gets a say. And this whole system majorly runs on Ethereum blockchain. Sam further added that back in 2016, the developers of the DAO believe that by putting decision-making power in the hands of automated technology, that will eliminate the decision-making power driven by an individual or by body. It was created to allow investors to send money anonymously from anywhere globally, and they would issue tokens to those owners, letting them vote on potential initiatives or proposals. Finn was fascinated and asked Sam how exactly it works and how this can be the solution for his situation. Sam explained, basically, smart contracts are the backbone of DAO. Smart contracts are programs that run when certain conditions are met and are stored on a blockchain. Let's understand this stepwise. Step one is when the documentation of the idea takes place in the similar way in DAO. A group of people write these smart contracts to administer the organization. Once the contract goes live on the Ethereum network, changes to its rules can be proposed only by voting. The contract automatically fails if the rules are violated. Then comes step two, which is a funding period, in which pitching of ideas takes place in front of the selected members and investors of the organization. Similarly, people in the DAO organization contribute money to the DAO by purchasing tokens that signify their membership in the organization. And when the funding period ends, it proceeds to step three. That is when the approval and implementation process of the idea takes place, or say the DAO starts to operate. People can now make proposals to the DAO on how to spend the money and how the members can vote to approve those proposals. This is how the first ever DAO was launched by Slocket. Now the question arises, what led the DAO towards criticism? This is due to the infamous DAO hack. Back in June, 2016, Hackers used DAO's vulnerabilities to assault its treasury. The hackers were able to gain access to 3.6 million Ethereum, valued around $50 million. This sparked a divisive debate among DAO investors, with some demanding for the DAO to be permanently dismantled. Initially, Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, advocated a soft fork of the Ethereum network which included a piece of code that would effectively blacklist the attacker and prohibit them from moving the stolen cash. But soon after, a problem was detected in its code, putting it vulnerable to assault. After great debate, a second alternative, a hard fork, was suggested and subsequently implemented. The hard fork effectively reset the Ethereum network's history and moved the DAO's Ether to a different smart contract, allowing investors to withdraw their assets. And as a result of the hard fork, two competing and now distinct Ethereum blockchains emerged. Those who opposed the hard fork, which wiped back the blockchain's history, backed the soft fork version, which is now known as Ethereum Classic, 
ETC. The Ethereum blockchain is the blockchain that implemented the hard fork, changing the blockchain's history. So, here is a question for you. How can you gain membership of the DAO? A. By voting. B. By buying Ether token. C. By investing in Bitcoin. D. By creating smart contracts. Please give it a thought and drop your answers in the comments section below. Three lucky winners will receive Amazon gift vouchers. The DAO breach and related Ethereum hard fork shook the Ethereum community and raised serious concerns about the developing platform. In hindsight, Vitalik Buterin, Ethereum developers, and the global community made decisions that ensured the Ethereum blockchain's survival in its early days. Since the DAO attack, Ethereum has increased in importance as a foundation of blockchain, cryptocurrency, and decentralized finance. And this occurrence, I believe, heralds the start of a new age for Ethereum's public blockchain. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Here's your reminder to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for more on the latest technologies and trends. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn.